All right, guys, just finished up with a really super simple supper. What I did, I'll explain it real quick. I had a pack of Asian style noodles. Um, I had another pack here, I don't know what I did with it, but really super simple, like soy sauce, Asian style noodles, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of seaweed. So I did actually have a pack of dried seaweed that I sprinkled over top. Really quick, really fast, five minutes to cook. And that's how I like doing things in the winter time. Every now and then if I'm out with like an elaborate setup, like a large hot tent where there's actually a room to get in and stay warm, other than standing out here in the cold, then I'll do a little bit more elaborate cooking. But honestly, it's winter camping. We're out here, it's like, just get something in your stomach. So that's what I did. Little cooking area here on the tailgate. Super simple to clean up because there's not a lot of mess. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just get all my cooking stuff situated, get it inside of the Jeep for morning coffee. That way I know where everything is. Also, this is not coffee, <laughs> okay? So what I've been doing lately is putting Boomer's dog food inside of these old coffee containers. So this is a plastic Folgers container and uh, hold a lot of dog food for him anyways. He's not a big dog. So I keep one in my Jeep, one in my truck and uh, keeps it nice and dry, secure. No mice will get in there. Really easy, it's bright red, easy to see, easy to find. He knows the sound of it. So a little bit of a hack there. If you guys have uh, little coffee containers, great for dogs or cats or whatever. So that's what that is. And uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much everything to share. I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up, like I said, get it all inside of the Jeep. Um, I'll probably leave, I'll probably shut the glass and leave the tailgate open just for a little bit. I did forget my chair. And I know everyone's always saying, bring a chair, bring a chair. Um, it's in my truck. So I'm going to huddle next to the fire instead of sit next to the fire, which is totally fine because I don't plan on being out for that long anyways. I want to be up top with that diesel heater. I have a couple movies I want to watch with Boomer. So that's my plan for tonight is being up top there, nice and warm. Spend a little bit of ambient time outside with the crackling campfire and then get up there. So a little bit of a cleanup. All right, so this is how the diesel heater is positioned when I'm using it. I've got the exhaust pipe pointing down and out off to the side. I've got the air intake on the opposite side up higher just to keep the two totally separate. I'm not gonna close my entire spire, spare tire carrier because that exhaust will explode the tire. So it's, this is basically heavy enough that it's not gonna blow around in the wind. I'll leave it open, most likely just like that. But if this pipe gets hot and touches the tire, it will actually melt the tire. So if you guys are running a similar setup like this, be mindful of your spare tire. Keep that off of it as well as away from the glass because the heat can shatter the glass as well. There's loads of room there, no worries there. But uh, basically, I've got my air intake. The ice is cracking and shifting right now, super loud in the background. It did it a while ago, Boomer had no idea what it was. Uh, but I got my air intake on the backside, like I was saying, just kind of angling this exhaust out to where I would like it to go. Other than that, everything else is pretty much ready to go. I think I'm going to fire it up just for a minute to make sure everything's working well. The Jackery is at about 74%. That's more than enough to do two whole nights running that, plus some time. So we're good for tonight. I'm going to charge up my phone, do a couple things up top, some lights run this all night and that's basically it and uh, we're out of here tomorrow so not worried about that but it is situated here i am going to be building a flat platform on this rack i haven't done it yet so the diesel heater is kind of tipped to the side a little bit it does need to stand up because there are safety mechanisms in these that if it's tilted too far it'll actually shut off and not work right now it's totally fine but uh yeah i am going to build the platform just haven't had time for that so with all this set up basically just going to kick back for a little bit get ready for the campfire wait till it gets a little bit darker out and then light that and enjoy some camp life in the night
All right, guys, got the fire putting out tons of heat right now. This wood is burning nice and clean, nice dry hardwood. So Boomer and I were out walking across the lake. It is getting quite a bit darker and colder right now. It probably doesn't look like it because we're actually in the woods and you guys are looking out in the open, but it is actually quite a bit darker in here. So I'm gonna probably burn all of this firewood tonight. Just load it on there, get really nice and warm, enjoy a little bit of the outside life. And then we are gonna retreat upside in the tent and get that diesel heater cranked up and then really dry out. My shoes are wet, my pants are a little bit wet. So that's the beauty with the diesel heater. Dry all the clothing out, nice dry air and uh, just have a good time up there. So definitely looking really nice out here, kind of gray overcast. It does look like it might actually snow, but we'll have to wait till morning and see. So I'm gonna relax out here for a little bit longer. Oh, super warm. And like I said, I'll catch you guys up top in the tent. All right guys, just coming up inside of the tent. I've still got my shoes on, still need to get changed. And of course these windows need to get closed, but got them open right now for a little bit more light so you guys can see what's going on. We do have a downfill sleeping bag. Obviously it's gonna be going on top of us, but right now I like keeping it down underneath just to kind of keep it out of the way. I've got some snacks up here, some chips, drinks. I got my charging station down here on the Jackery. Uh, plug in that, basically charge lights, phone, whatever. This is the vent that comes inside from the diesel heater. I actually left this articulating black piece on there so I can actually angle the airflow because I don't like it pointing towards the battery. It gets the battery really hot. And uh, usually I hang pants or shirts up here. If I angle this that way, it'll dry the clothing out really quickly. I'm gonna be putting my shoes over there for sure. Boomer is definitely comfortable in his favorite spot. And uh, yeah, it's ultimately it's gonna be really nice and comfy up here. You can hear the diesel heater clicking. That's the fuel pump. Right now it's turned up to four. I'm gonna turn it down to two. And when I'm up here, I don't even hear that. I know a lot of people complain about that in their vans or camper builds. Doesn't bother me. So that's basically what we're gonna be doing right now. Get my shoes off, get all these zipped up. And I think we're gonna settle in for the night and watch a movie and just hang out. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys and we'll catch up with you first thing in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful winter, kind of spring feeling day today. Man, I gotta say, if you guys can see the Jeep is totally covered in snow. It is raining, so a couple things. No, it did not get down to negative 10 degrees Celsius last night. It actually floated at about minus three, and then it started to snow, which is where all the snow came from. And there was a lot of snow. I wanna say there's probably a good like three, four inches of snow. And then the temperature came up and it started raining. Early this morning, it was pouring with rain for probably about 30 minutes. And then it let up a little bit. So there is still some snow on the truck or on the Jeep and the tent, but uh, mainly rain now. So it's subsided down to a slight drizzle, which is why I'm in my sweater. And these are the kind of mornings that I love. This right now is perfect. I'm looking out across the lake, all those lush spruce trees that are just, the, the snows come off them, they're popping green across the lake. It's cool, it's misty, there's a little bit of fog rolling through. It's really quiet other than the diesel heater, I know. The reason why that's still on is because I have to crank it up to full. Right now it's only on two, but I'm going to crank it up, melt off all the snow and actually dry the tent using the heater, inside and outside, believe it or not, even though it's still drizzling. And then I'm going to rip it out of there and pack that tent up really quickly. It's important to do that because two reasons. One, the diesel heater needs to be cranked up on full blast to burn off any carbon deposits inside of the burn chamber. You got to crank it on high to really get some stuff burned out of there and heat up the tent at the same time. Hands are going to be cold. It's nice to be up there kind of grabbing stuff out. So far I've got everything out of there other than the Jackery battery and a couple of pieces of equipment and blankets mainly. So I got to get the battery in here, get all the blankets and stuff out of there, jam it off to the side because Boomer likes to sit in the back when we drive. Um, I don't know why he's up in the front seat for a bit, but then he comes back here. So I like getting the blanket situated in here so he has a spot to lay down. It's only right of me. Uh, and then other than that, pretty simple morning, guys. Coffee, uh, breakfast, oatmeal, just regular stuff. Just want to enjoy the scenery before it's time to uh, head back home. So cheers, guys. Morning coffee and last night's sleep was incredible. So let's enjoy this coffee. All right guys, coffee's all done. I just cranked up the diesel heater so you guys can probably notice quite a bit of difference in sound. That right there is cranked on max. It's really not that bad. I mean, the microphone's pointing right at the exhaust. That's as loud as I could possibly get it for you guys to show you. That way if you are camping in a group with vehicles, you can expect to hear that. Not terrible, everybody gets used to it. I'm certainly used to it myself. But we'll let that cook itself out for about five to ten minutes. While it's doing that, I'm just going to grab blankets out of the Jeep, get the battery and stuff situated so I can take it out when it's time to shut the heater off, and then quickly pack up the tent. It is brutally cold on the hands, even though it's kind of mild out today. It's nothing's like freezing; everything's melting. It's just it's brutally cold, and I know people are going to say put gloves on. That will not help. You need maximum dexterity to fold the fabric, run the zipper, gloves just do not help. So I'm going to be up there soaking wet, crawling around, flopping around, getting that tent packed. It's never fun, but it is always worth it, I will say that. Always worth it. So we'll let that cook out, 
and then pack up. All right, so I've got to say the amazing thing about Jeeps is they are basically playgrounds. I mean, you can crawl all over them, climb on top of them. Um, just looking for the other rod. I just put it up there. So yeah, having a Jeep as a vehicle platform is incredible. You can climb all over them. Uh, all kinds of armor options, ladders, steps, bumpers, all kinds of stuff. The reason I'm saying that is because my trucks are 10 inch lift trucks on 40 inch tires. They're huge. So to get on top of the truck to do the tent, you actually have to crawl up into the back of the truck. This platform's a little different. You kind of go all the way around. All the armor pieces that I chose to put on it, like the steps on the front door hinge, the steps protecting the window, doesn't get smashed out. It's easily going through trees and branches. It also acts as a ladder. And the back bumper, just everything. It makes it super easy to crawl around the Jeep to do this, but it's still a pain in the butt. So diesel heater is cooling down right now. That's going to be off in a second. Throw everything in the Jeep, cold hands, pack this thing up, and hopefully it'll go smooth. All right, guys, got the diesel heater here unpacked. And you guys can see if I shake this, you can see where the fuel level's at. The bottom of the tank is actually right where my finger is. So that's about a quarter tank left. So we burned three quarters of a tank last night and this ran for a good 14 hours. So with that kind of fuel consumption, I personally do not find that a problem. Very, very economic in my mind. Just gotta pack that in there, nice and simple. The exhaust pipe, the air outlet, the air inlet and the electrical cables, I always keep together, just kind of tucked away in here. And I always bring with me one of these small gas jugs, I know it's red, but there is diesel in it. Uh, that's all I bring. So usually that's about halfway full. I'll leave that a quarter till the next time I go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this jug here would last me a couple days if that's full. So if I go out on a two, three day trip, I know I've got good heat. Of course, never rely on your diesel heater. Things can happen. That's why I always bring a big down sleeping bag, proper clothing. Uh, treat it as if I'm going tent camping with no wood stove. That way if things do fail, I'm okay. I'm still warm. So other than that, everything worked out really, really good. Like I said, I'm just configuring the back right now for Boomer. What I'm gonna do is pull this blanket down over top of everything just before we're ready to go. That way I can actually see out the window when I'm driving and he's got a spot to kind of wander around, if you will. Uh, so that's the next task. Get the tent packed up and uh, hopefully that'll go really quick and smooth. I'm actually kind of warmed up from getting all that stuff packed away. So I'm going to use that momentum and just burn through this process. All right, guys, I've got everything finally totally packed up. The tent was actually not that bad. 
10 minutes to pack that up today. Now keep in mind, it's not freezing cold out. It's basically not even raining anymore. The tent was not frozen and it's not windy. So if you mix all that mess into a bag and you're up there crawling around, it's freezing, it's windy, it's snowing, uh, it could take sometimes 20, 25 minutes. So today was actually a really good day. It went no problem, everything's in there. I did not need the awning on this trip. I mean, sure I could have with the rain, but honestly, I'm really not that wet. So this can be a bit of a hassle to pack up as well. Um, kind of the name of the game, you know? Honestly, some people think vehicle camping is quicker, it's more lavish and more luxury. There's honestly more work doing this than there is going out hiking with a tent. So sometimes turning, switching gears to bringing a vehicle, going overlanding versus backpacking in kind of is a toss up because I could have my tent and everything packed away in my backpack within 10 minutes. The entire Jeep I have to pack away. Then I have to clean it out and everything else. So honestly, vehicle camping is way more work. Sure, it can be more luxurious, especially if you're staying three, four, five days, then this is definitely the way to go. But to each their own, whatever you want to do, just a little bit of an idea there how much time it takes to pack away. Now, there are hard shell rooftop tents that take two seconds to fold up. The reason why I went with this, uh, a couple options, or a couple reasons why, uh, the price, the weight, and the size. I have a two-door Jeep. I'm not gonna get in the whole detail on all those, but those are the reasons why I chose to go this route. Sure, in the future, I will be upgrading to a hard shell, a wedge style, just not right now. That's doing the job perfectly fine, and it's basically brand new, so I, I kind of have to use it until it's, you know, not brand new. So that is it for this adventure. I've got to get down this trail, get the Jeep backed up, warmed up, and uh, get Boomer in there and take off, head home, get nice and warm and dry, edit this video and get it out to you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, always drop them down below. Until next time, peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.